Hey there, it's Heather with Tiller here, and this is a quick getting started video for the Tiller Net Worth Tracker template. So when you get started with this template, and you've linked the accounts for which you would like to track your net worth from the Tiller console, the first thing you'll want to do is to check in on your accounts here on the accounts sheet. You can see in the left side area the accounts that you have linked to the sheet from the Tiller console for automated updates appear on the left. You may want to check in on whether or not the class is assigned correctly. If you find that it's if you find that it's incorrectly assigned or it displays as unknown, you can use the class override option to correctly set the class. You may also want to configure a group for your accounts to better organize them. The next thing you'll want to do on the account sheet is add in any manual accounts that you would like to track in your net worth tracker. These might be things like a mortgage, a cash account, or other assets that Tiller cannot automate, that Tiller cannot, that Tiller cannot automate. Enter the name, the account number, the balance, enter the name, an account number, which you can make up unless the account number, which you can create if there isn't one, the balance, assign a class, asset or liability, and then apply a group if you're using groups. Use the hide option to hide accounts that have closed or that you have removed from appearing in the other reports in the sheet. Once, once you have filled in the details for your manually tracked account, make sure you save the account using the Save Data to Balance History sheet dropdown at the top. Choose Save and you will see the manual balances saved on date update to the current date. You will need to, man you will need to save manual account balances each time they change and at the end of each month. Alternately, you can turn on the Auto Save feature to have it automatically save the balance at the end of each month. This will prevent gaps in your data. Optionally, you can hide an account that has been closed or you have unlinked from the sheet using the hide column here in either of the tables to prevent that account's balance data from appearing on the other reports in the sheet. Now that you've now that you've checked in on your accounts, the next thing is to track your net worth. It's that simple. Here on the net worth sheet, you'll get a total net worth calculation. You'll also see your assets and liabilities organized by their class and by the groups that you set up. From there, you can check in on trends to see your net worth as it has changed over time by configuring a start date and how you would like to view the trends, either monthly, weekly, quarterly, or yearly. Keep in mind that Tiller pulls in balance data from the date that you first connect the account to your Tiller console. So if you are missing historical data, check in. If you're missing historical data that you'd like to see, feel free to review the Help Center articles about how to add historical balance data to your net worth tracker. Let us know if you have any questions at all in support. Happy tracking!